Nice shot of the river there. Uh, Eastern Market has more than great fresh produce. You'll also meet vendors selling all kinds of products they create themselves. Tati does sketches on the weekend and <laughs> hangs out and drinks coffee and signs autographs. Isn't that the truth? Well, one specialty is Gus and Gray handcrafted delight. Kyla Peoples met up with the owner and has the story of her journey to create her homegrown business. When you go to Eastern Market, you most likely will see this popular vendor or hear her infectious laugh. <laughs> from Tara Gray, the owner of Gus and Gray Handcrafted Delights. We do small batch uh, preserves, marmalades, and uh, some mustards. Um, everything that we use is very low sugar, no pectin, no preservatives. So each jar of jam has just under half a pound of fruit in it. Along with traditional fruits, Tara uses fun flavors for her jams like passion fruit and blackberry bourbon vanilla. Another cool thing about them are the names. Now some of them are cute and some of them are pretty saucy. I always have a fun name on everything. You know, we've got things like our tart cherry jam is called Pucker Up. Um, our apricot is Lada Apricata. Uh, we have an organic apple butter that actually won a National Good Food Award this year. And of course, that is Teacher's Pet. <laughs> she first started making the sweet spread as a stress reliever. I was living in Brooklyn, New York, and I was working about 70 hours a week and um, just needed something to do that was mine. And I thought about when I would can with my grandmother when I was a kid. So I looked up recipes, and the first jar I made was apricot. I made about eight or nine jars, and I gave it away, and I didn't think anything of it. It was just a stress reliever, and then my friends just kind of started coming out of the woodwork asking for more. She then began selling the jams at small markets. Then something life-changing happened. Five years ago, I had this super freak accident and within two seconds, I had completely shattered my right ankle, and my husband said, well, what are you gonna do? And I said, can you give me six months? Just let me try this. And he took a deep breath, because I hadn't had any income for almost a year, and uh, really tried to give Gus and Gray uh, a real root system in Detroit. Through the pain of recovery, Tara applied to and won multiple grants and became a well-known stop at Eastern Market. I, I love working with Eastern Market, you know, just to be at Eastern Market, like the grandfather of all markets, is just amazing. If you want a delightful jam with a spicy name, sold with a smile, Gus and Gray is your best bet. So besides the names of the jams, Tara always gets the question, who's Gus and who's Gray? Well, Gray is her last name, and Gus was her late cat's name. You can find her jams at Eastern Market and at over 80 local stores. Tati.